Hey all, I have a strange habit of remembering things that aren't all that helpful in my practical life. I can't always remember where my keys are or if I got everything at the grocery store, but I can tell you who played second base for the 1992 Mets. It was Willie Randolph, by the way. I may misremember passwords, but I can recall even the briefest interactions with people I went to school with decades ago. And it's like that with winter. I may not remember to bring my gloves with me, but I can recall how snowy and cold was nearly every winter of my life for at least the last 20 years, if not more. It's not that I keep statistics on snowfall or temperatures. I don't particularly like winter. If it wasn't for growing up with ice hockey all around me, I would absolutely detest this season. I just accept it as a reality of life in the Northeast. The thing is, living here, winters can drag on. They aren't as long as they used to be. When I was a child, I remember the snow usually began in November. Sometimes earlier, though. When I was seven years old, I watched the 1987 World Series while there was snow on the ground from an historic nor'easter. We still have snow here in the Northeast. It's just that it's compacted into a shorter period. At least I think it is. Because the only thing I hate more about winter is being stuck indoors... I tend to get outside in it as much as I can. I would recommend this to anyone living in a cold area. Because of this, for the last decade or so, I have taken a lot of pictures of snow and ice and cold, cold misery. I doubt it was the coldest or even the snowiest, but the winter of 2010-2011 seemed to be one of the most intense in my memory. In my mind, winter begins with the first real snowfall, and we had our first on November 8th. I even captured the first flakes of the season on my way into work. By afternoon, the snow picked up. I snapped this picture from the observation deck of the Corning Tower. The plows came out. I'm not sure, but the snow didn't stick around. By Veterans Day, it was just dry and cold. For more than a month, it stayed mostly like that, cold with maybe some dustings. That is, until the day after Christmas, when the skies just dropped a lot of snow in a pretty substantial storm. I was just a few months away from moving out of Albany, which is a miserable city during the winter, but I got some fun shots that night, and I got some shots the day after when the snow settled. One of those pictures actually hangs on a wall in my house. Some winters you have a few big storms and intermittent snowfalls in between, but when 2011 came, it was snow all the time. If it wasn't snowing there, nevertheless, there was a ton of white stuff on the ground. That winter, I moved from Albany to a village in the upper Hudson Valley. While I was still in Albany, it seemed the snowplows were always on the move. One morning, I went out to my car to discover that its driver's side mirror had been smashed. It had been hit by a snowplow. I fixed it with painter's tape, and I kept on moving. Driving was an absolute mess that year. Several times I was stuck in snowbanks. Drivers were constantly going off the road, and even tree branches broke. The car doors froze shut overnight. One morning, while I was still in Albany, a van with California plates was parked outside my apartment. Now, I know it snows in California. After all, that's where the Donner Wagon Train tragedy happened. But it doesn't snow in Santa Barbara, which, from my perspective, is pretty cool. Moving across the river didn't really help. Trains speed by to and from New York City right behind my house, and this was the first time I experienced how far a snowflake can travel, down the neck of your jacket into the gap between your glove and your hand, and that's not a great feeling. I also live right near the Hudson River, and that year it froze over and seemed to stay frozen all winter. I've had some cold winters here by the Hudson, but that year I heard the ice heaving and cracking all the time even when the boats weren't passing. The winter had a particular misery that made you want to just exit the world. Hell, at least, was warmer, in theory, that is. I recall only a few days where the weather got above 30. I think it was like 40 degrees when I got this shot, and I remember it felt downright tropical. In late January, I was dreaming of spring. But with each passing day and more ground accumulation, the season of rebirth seemed further and further away. If I'd been so inclined, I still wouldn't have been able to use our basketball hoop, which my wife's grandfather installed in 1953. 
I did, however, get out of my skates, albeit briefly. But everywhere you went that winter, it just punched you right in the face. I fell several times walking into work because the temperature hardly warmed enough to keep the slush from icing over. And if the slush did evaporate, more salt would get dropped to prepare for the next storm, which then stains the cuffs of your pants. At some point in mid-March, we had our first day in the high 40s. My wife and I were shopping for groceries, and I remember wearing a t-shirt. And I was looking at these puddles in the parking lot, and they just seemed like a paradise. But then it snowed again. When spring finally did arrive, at least on the calendar, the tributaries feeding the Hudson River were furious. You really could hear the water move. Speaking of the first official day of spring, March 20th, it snowed. I remember I had left my shoes on the porch the night before to wake up to this surprise. Sprig did come. It came just a little bit later in the year. But I never remember appreciating the coming of a spring more than I did in 2011. As the crocuses outside of our house pushed their way up through the dirt, I remember just feeling relief. And even though it didn't get warm for another month or so, and there was still cold spring rain, when the snow finally did stop, I really felt like life was returning to my little neck of the woods. And I think that's what gets me through winter. It's the knowing that it will pass. It will get better. It will get warmer. And for the time being, it's sometimes just best to appreciate the beauty that the snow can bring. Well, thank you for letting me share these photos with you. God bless you.